Hello and welcome to Software Inc, a game that I have poured way too many hours into in the past week. This game took me by storm, it's basically everything I've wanted in a company simulator, and the fact that it's software and in my free time I'm coding and stuff, it just kind of worked. So let's start a new game with the greatest character, uh, character? character customizer of all time because it takes very little effort to make it look not like a blob and i don't know what a blob is it's like between a blob and like the sound a fish makes but it's it's not good like when i make a sim it looks like it's just too many things you have to keep track of so when you finish you're like oh there's something just not right about this but this it's so simple that I can make something that kind of looks like me, while putting absolutely no thought into it. There we go. And now we just have to color everything. Um, yeah. B fantastic. For me, at least. I, I like this character creator. It's so, so simple to use. And now you guys are going to know exactly what I look like, even though there isn't much you can uh, do for differences in this game. You'll all know it. Bam, hair, we'll just do the same color there. Bam, glasses, the bright blue glasses. Maybe a little bit darker than that, there we go. There's my glasses. Uh, my Discord hoodie is like a really dark blue. And I'll be wearing, I'll make the sleeves and stuff white because that contrasts well. And then I either wear, currently I'm wearing black shorts. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, not that black. You know, I, I think that works. Let's go ahead and put that. Now I have to actually make it look a little bit more like me. Uh, the head, like my jaw is not that hot. Oh, nope, that doesn't look human anymore. Uh... I don't know, I should honestly have Aaron do this for me because she'd probably do much better than me. Although my nose is ginormous, so I may be better off just leaving that as it is. Okay, I think that's maybe the closest I'm gonna get it. Maybe a little bit longer jaw. Uh, yeah, good enough. And we're going to make uh, Spook. Vooper Inc., the greatest company. Founder name, Spike Viper. I am male. I'm going to be cocky and optimistic. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Uh, design, we'll do... Uh, we'll do system stuff. And uh, I may be better off, I'm, I actually do 3D, but I, we don't unlock that until way, way further on. So we're going to make me kind of good at leading, really good at programming, kind of good at designing, trash at art, and slightly good at marketing, because that's kind of necessary. Uh, but trash at art, absolutely trash at art. I can at least make slightly convincing stick figures. And that's what matters, right? Okay, there we go. Looking fantastic. And I think I'm happy with that, except that's a little bit too... It looks like I'm questioning life constantly. Which, I mean, that's not completely wrong, but maybe just a little bit too overkill. There we go. Now I'm not like... like the difference between what is hap... Oh, why is Curvy making them, like, thinner? Huh. It's like a battle between the thickness and curvy. Good enough. Uh, you know, I'm going to be happy with that. That looks ever so slightly like me. Great. Uh, now we're going to take out a massive loan. And the reason I'm going to take out a massive loan <laughs> is because I don't want to rent a building. I want to make our own because it's much more fun. We'll put on medium difficulty, have everything else normal. Let's pick a map. So, I want my own empty plot. And I don't know if we'll go in the city. 
I think maybe we'll go into a town. We'll kind of like grow up a massive corporate building in the middle of a small town. Uh, we'll use so that you guys can play along if you want. We'll use Spook Vooper as the generation string. And now we're just going to hit OK and hope I didn't mess anything up, right? <sighs> There's a save button? Oh my god, that would have been nice to know before. Okay, that's th great. I've been remaking that character over and over and over. Okay, back to town. And temperate. We could do like a snowy town. We could. We could do like a desert. But no, I'm just going to do temperate. Because then we have to worry about everything. And here we are. Oh, that's a nice little spot. We're kind of on the edge of this suburbia. So much nice stuff. So now let's design our building. Uh, the first thing that's going to be important is we need employees to be able to get here. So... Can't put it in front of the bus stop, huh? That's frustrating, so we're going to have to put the parking here, at least. Uh, maybe not. How much would that plot? That would cost way more than we have. Yeah, 208000 Not even close. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, but we'll put some simple parking right here. Wow, I put a light there. That must be new. Um, and other than that, let's just get to work on our building. Uh, I like to be like the tech company style of making the buildings strangely shaped to be inspirational. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to plot this out in my head how I want it to look. No, I think we'll go with kind of an interesting look here. That'll be really frustrating to fit furniture into that. What if we had like the entrance? Oh, you know what? That may look nice. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have kind of a turned corner there and just that for a temporary bit of the building. Our first area because that, that was like all of our money too. <laughs> oh man, things are expensive. So we can fit the door right here to our office and then so that we can actually see we'll throw some windows on it windows 10 um we'll put everything we need i'm also going to color the room all of them the same we'll make our own little paint job i want the outside to be dark the inside to be a not that bright blue uh There we go. It only looks so dark because there's literally no light in the room. Uh, but if we put some lights in there, which we're going to do now. Let's find the lights. Uh, we need to be light enough to work in, so we'll put a light. Shoot, this is a strangely shaped room. That's my fault, though. There we go. Two lights. Now it's bright enough to actually see things. You can see it's kind of a nice color. I don't like how close those windows are to the door, but I don't have the money to really change it, so we'll keep it like that for now. And let's set up my little work area. We'll just be in the back of the room. Actually, I'm going to move that. I'll go to the side of the room, because then I have this nice window to look out. We'll go ahead. Ah, some comfort. We'll just do an office chair. Then we've got our computer, which is going to be pretty expensive for us. We're going to do, where's the calculator? Always need that for programming. And to keep me happy, I'll put a little cactus over here. Fantastic. I don't think there are many ways we could improve upon this design. Okay, so if we're going to do that, is there anything we're lacking? Uh, ventilation. Oh yes, keeping it cool in the summer and warm in the winter. So we can put this really lame ventilation on. It'll be loud though, so we'll put it in the other corner. And now it's going to say, add, oh, more ventilation. 
much does the AC cost? It's really loud though. And it's pretty darn expensive. Maybe if we just double this up. Not enough. Triple it up. How much are these rated for? 15 meters squared. This is what? Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe one more. Yay! What do you look at that? Absolutely ridiculous amounts of ventilation was enough. Why are they not even? I don't like that. <laughs> oh well, we're gonna get AC at some point. Um, and then we need heating, which we'll use this small heater, which we'll put right next to that stuff. Are you kidding me? Okay, you know, we're just gonna undo, 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 and I'm gonna change something here. This is gonna be slightly expensive, but I have an idea. Uh, we'll have this be the back room. Where all the, like, printers and servers and stuff are, and so we'll put a door here. So we can go back there. But, the important thing is going to be that back here doesn't actually, like, need any of that stuff, because nobody's going to be working there. It's okay if it gets a little bit hot and stuff, so now this area will be much, yeah, much easier to heat up and cool down. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Never mind. We'll just use city heating. There we go. It's happy. Uh, that'll be slightly expensive for the city heating, but whatever. Okay, so now we have our little business. We have to get out of that loan as quickly as possible because it's going to suck up a majority of our money. Oh, first day. We're in debt. We have to get out of debt. We don't want to lose already. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a contract. Uh, we are good at code. That's all we're really good at. This needs a bit of code. System code. That's exactly what we're good at. So we're going to take it. And look at me working on it. Now it's very important that I finish this today or else we will actually go bankrupt. I'm playing a little bit risky here. Okay, we have enough code. Uh, we have 0.74 out of 0.68. We could review it, but this is such an unimportant thing. It's not really necessary. We're in delay, now we fix bugs. Bugs mean that you lose money for each bug. Uh, you don't get paid as much for releasing it. And on top of that, if it's your product, your fans will get angry about bugs. But we are now ready to release because I'm literally out of time. And we got $10,000 for that with outstanding quality, which means there must not have been too many bugs. Next day, we have to spend more money on paying off that loan and the heat, but we have no debt. Fantastic. So we are going to just kind of grind this. We need to do embedded systems and logistic systems just so that we can make enough money to not go under. But once we get rid of that loan, we won't be paying for much other than heating. Since it's just us. So we can try to make our first application that'll actually go big. $8,000 more dollars. Fantastic. We're on the road to success. As long as we don't run out of things that aren't art. That has happened to me before and I was just like, oh no. I suck at art, and then I had to do stuff, and it was all, like, terrible quality. Absolute trash. But I still got paid for it. Slightly. I've gotten very lucky in this game. <clears throat> so around now... Oh, we actually got 21 bugs uh, fixed right there. Higher quality than the other one. Fantastic. That one pays a bit higher. Still not much code we have to do. Um, sometimes I want to check on, first, the software other people have going. So this is all new. It's the first editions of pretty much everything. I see some games, and I see some financial systems. <clears throat> Game engine. There's some cool stuff out right now, but there's also the companies. The most valuable company is currently worth 180 million. 
But that's going down. And this is one of the really cool things about this game. You can see everything going on in the world around you and plan accordingly. I, I was a pretty harsh competitor towards another company once I saw every single thing they made. And then I made competing products in the next month. And so I took all of their customers. And then after I pushed their stocks down low enough, I went ahead and I bought them out. And then I uh, made sequels to their own products, <laughs> taking advantage of their intellectual property. Uh, fantastic. That's exactly how you want to... You, you just want to... Oh, no. This could be bad. You want to push past the other companies and show them who's boss. You see, one thing about your character in this game is they don't really get upset because you're like the leader of the company. You're willing to go through like anything to make it work. So just for now, <clears throat> considering there's no one other than me on the team, I'm going to put the working hours up really high because I know I'm not going to care. Look at me, 100% satisfaction. So now we have more time to get this stuff done. <clears throat> And more time to get it done means more money. Uh, after we're out of debt, I'll switch our working hours back to something reasonable. But for now, I'm going to be working very hard. We're almost over $100,000. How exciting. Could inflate my stocks and then sell them to someone. Or could I? Do I actually have any value now? Or did they change how that worked? No, they changed how it worked. So someone's actually going to have to buy stock in me. And it starts at 50,000 apparently now. So there was an update since the last time I played, which was like two days ago. They've been updating it like crazy though. And it looks like if I'd invested in these guys, it would have been a bad idea anyways. They are dropping in cash. How about these guys? Now these guys on the other hand... I can get behind that. How much are you worth? Oh, over a million. So your stocks are prob- yeah. Out of my price range. Far out of my price range. But not for long. We will become rich. We will get everything we need. Uh, we just have to program a lot. It's the American dream. Up to very slow. Very slow and steady. Bam! Over $100,000. How exciting. Our loan is dropping. Now it's at under 200000 Which means that I think in 10 months, we will be able to pay it off. That's not a bad outlook. Skip ahead. Do, 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 do. Of course, we're, we're missing several years of technological uh, advancements, but we have to start somewhere. Okay, release another one, skip to the next day. Get another contract. Please be. <gasps> Ooh, this one is really nice. Barely more code and a lot more money. And those game assets are so much money. Maybe I went into the wrong field. Maybe I should have done art. I can't actually see that though. Uh, actually programming. You, you can find a lot of code assets and stuff on the internet for like 50 bucks. But then when it's like art if you want a package of like art for games it gets really expensive really fast because i think it there's a million ways to do code but like when it comes to art your turtle still has to look like a turtle uh, when it comes to code the code could look completely different on the bottom and still do the same thing and I think people really care about it just doing its job efficiently. But with art, people are very picky. 
Yeah, I, I hope I got that point across right. Okay. Bam, develop. Seven, nine, promote. Yes. Fix bugs. We've got to be getting close. 185,000 when we have 120,000. Yes, we're almost out of debt. Next episode will actually be exciting. Do, 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 do. Ah, don't sit there doing nothing. That's kind of my fault, though. Sorry, I'm yelling at myself for not doing anything. Uh, there you go. More embedded systems. Design the system. Develop the system. Promote the system. Debug the system. What a series of events. Most exciting game ever. But I love it. This is such a good game. I really do suggest you. It's got one developer. And it's got so much to it, and it's just always getting more. It's just fantastic. That's not what we're doing yet. That's if we want to make our own software. We're not quite there yet. We're going to be there next episode. This episode is us getting out of debt. Uh, and getting out of debt is all BAM, develop, BAM, promote, BAM, fix bugs check our loan again because it's getting close it's getting so close release next day take another contract accept and continue we're almost there it's going to be so cheap too to live once we do this because finances how much is bills cost our heating bill is $63 a month. That's all. If we're making $63 a month by then, we're fine. Like I said, it gets so much better. So much better. I wonder if we can also make one product during this video. Just so that it isn't quite as boring. We'll see. Products take a while to do is the problem. Uh, release. More, more, more money. Wow, 16,000. That's a good one. We'll do that tomorrow. Our loan is on 165, and we've got 151. This is it, guys. I think we can pay off our loan after we finish this. If we get rid of all the bugs. Which probably won't happen, gonna be honest. 30... Can we at least do 30? Yes. 31... Good enough. Bam, 166! We can pay off our loan! Pay out! We're left with barely any money. However, we just need to get a little bit of padding, just so that we can, like, live. So let's just take this, finish this up. Then after this is done, now there's no real rush for anything. Like, even the money from accepting that contract is enough to keep us alive for, like, years. Okay. Fantastic. So, we're gonna fix up the bugs. And for the first time, we can release something, go to the next day, and keep a majority of the money from it. And now we are free. We have barely any expenses and we can make our own product. So let's see, what are we gonna make? Something very simple. I think like 2D editors like always do well. And I'm gonna make a 2D editor just for looking at pictures, which isn't really an editor. So I'm just gonna call it viewer. Viewer 2D, no, viewer. Very simple, rememberable name. Uh, 2D editor, default, normal price, we'll just leave that all normal, I mean we could add pixel money, but then look, the, it changes so much, the code needed goes from 3 to 7, 
The interest goes up, but I also don't have very good 2D skill, so I think it's better to just keep it simple for now. So we're just going to do that. Uh, we have to add operating systems it'll work on. So let's get the most popular ones. The Int OS 5, the Int OS 4, and the Door Side 3. I like how they're making fun of Windows with, like, the door. <laughs> door side. <laughs> uh, okay. And Viewer is now in development. I can't afford the- Oh, I have to pay for licenses with all of these. Which one was the really popular one? We'll get rid of all of these and just add one. This is the popular one. I don't know how expensive it's going to be. Please don't be too expensive. Okay, it was pretty expensive for the license, but not terrible. Uh, now we're going to go to Manage Teams. We're going to go to, or not that, Manage Employees. And we're going to Educate Me in 2D uh, Code. Oh, I'm good at 2D Code. I'm just not good at 2D Design. Not at all. Uh, so we will Educate Me in Designing 2D Stuff. It'll cost 600 We'll actually do it. We'll do a good education. We'll do a three-month education which is going to be expensive and we can just skip until I finish that education let's see how good I am at it now see now I'm just somewhat good at it but good enough to start working on this and look at that we can choose when to go on to actually developing it but I want to get it to the best quality we can for the design just because my code is also going to be trash so we just want it to be as good as possible. We also don't have a marketing team, so we can't really do proper marketing. We can just kind of give them the product and be like, hey, you want to talk about it? But that's fine. We'll just do a lot of press builds. We'll announce a release date soon. Yeah, now we're going to announce a release date. Uh, I don't think for three code, 1983, October, December, January. <sighs> We'll say February. I'm going to give myself a little bit extra time. Four months seems like enough, though. And I'm going to... That's all I'm going to do for now. I'm just going to announce the release date. I need to get it to enough of a point where I can actually, like... Oh, you know what? By the end of today, it'll have enough done that I'll be able to do a press build. Yeah, we have, like, half of it done now. Good. We actually get a lot done. Okay, great. Let's see. Okay, so we have like 400 followers. So 400 potential customers. And if we make it even more impressive, let's see what the review says. Spook Uber Inc. has put out a build for viewer. We've given it a test run. The target demographic doesn't really know who Spook Uber Inc. is yet because we're a new company. We haven't really heard about viewer. It looks amazing, but it's not that feature rich. It'll be out any moment now. Uh, yeah, it isn't feature rich. Uh, it kind of just has a rectangle that you can look at pictures in but maybe we can include it in an operating system in the future although by then we'll probably have like photoshop so maybe not as strategic um do we want to do another press build you know why not i mean you're not gonna lose followers unless like it's really low quality uh we need it okay this is when things start getting expensive. Uh, we'll call cleaning and IT to fix everything up. We're going to need maintenance at some point too. Uh, I think I actually took the right call saying February because this is going to take... There we go. Three. Now we're going to have to review it. Outsourcing is really expensive for getting reviews. So we're just going to have me review it. It's going to be very biased. Ah! Review accuracy, 0%. 0% accuracy. Fantastic. What are they saying? It's not that far from release. You're right. So we'll just keep working on the code. Um, you know, we'll outsource it, but we won't have that many people review it. We'll have 10 reviews, so $1,000 in reviews. 11. Ah, that's fine. And, oh, they actually gave it an 8, and that got rid of... 2.1% of the bugs and brought up the quality a little bit. They're pretty happy with it. Um, and now it's time to promote. December. 
January, yeah. So let's promote this, and let's get rid of the bugs now. So tomorrow is going to be spent completely. First off, we should do a press build to gain a little bit more of a following. Yep, we may hit 2,000 followers by the time it's done. We're not going to fix enough bugs for it to be like completely free of bugs, but we'll fix enough. We also have to deal with distribution, but I don't think that many people are going to buy it. So I think we're safe just having someone print the copies for us. Oh, that's going to be it. Today is the last day, so we're going to do one more press build. We're just giving them monthly press builds. Um, and we'll see how this goes. The release is here. Um, so... Oh, I have to release it. I actually physically have to release it because... Oh, no, it's not February yet. <clears throat> this is February, so I get a bit more time to work on bugs. <coughs> And we're at about 2,300 followers. <clears throat> God, the pollen is killing me. We may be able to fix 100 bugs before we release, which would be nice. That's a good amount of bugs. As long as we release today, we're fine. Okay, we're done. Release. We're going to release viewer. Uh, we're not going to start a marketing campaign. We don't have any money. Uh, but now we have to support it if people have problems with it. Do do, it's not well known. It looks amazing. Fantastic. That's not the actual review, though. We'll have that tomorrow. Uh, but something we have to do is we have to go to our releases and we're going to order copies of it so that people can buy it. We're going to order a thousand copies, which is going to cost $2,000. I hope we sell a thousand copies. That'd be really nice. Yay! We did a good job. So we'll continue tomorrow. Um, ready for its first graphics release. We don't know them. It's extremely well put together. We can't imagine how complicated this must be behind the scenes and it feels very stable. Uh, it's lacking features. It'll be interesting to see whether it can compare to Power Studio 3 by Flash Reality LLC. We think it's great value. And we made $93,000 off of it. Which means that we actually, it's telling us that we actually sold all of our units. Wow. Okay. So we have sold a whole lot. A lot of them digital. I don't know how we sold digital units. Um, we don't have a server or anything to it, but someone else must have done it for us. Our releases, we've got... Wow, that's impressive. None in storage, though. So I guess next time we'll start printing it ourselves, because that'll be a lot more profitable. And I will see you all next time. This company shall grow great. And we're getting rid of this house here, because it's really in the way. Just knock it over. Bye!